Hello, in this problem we're going to solve uh, profit maximizing quantity and price for an unregulated monopoly. As always, good practice. Uh, if you want to give this a shot, you can pause the video. I am going to solve it, but uh, if you want to practice, solve this, solve this problem, see if you get it right. Okay, I'm back after uh, being paused, maybe. Uh, all right, so when it says profit maximizing quantity, what that means is we're going to produce up until the marginal or additional revenue that the firm brings in or the producer brings in equals the marginal cost. So the additional money earned from production equals the additional cost of that production. So if marginal cost is higher, you shouldn't do it. And if marginal revenue is higher, you should continue to do it until that ratio is, is equal or until the last unit where we're still earning a per unit profit. Okay, so we need marginal revenue and we can find that based on the inverse demand function here. We need marginal cost. We can get that from total cost function here. So to get the marginal revenue, we need the total revenue function and that's price times quantity. We've already got the price here, so we're going to multiply everything through uh, by uh, quantity. So total revenue is going to be 28Q minus 0.0008Q squared. Okay. Uh, now to find the marginal revenue, okay, we're going to take the partial der derivative with respect to Q. Uh, if you don't know how to do a partial derivative, uh, just you know, there's lots of videos on how to do those. Uh, so you get to get going on that. All right, so 28, uh, 28 there, and then minus 0 0.0016 Q. Okay, so that's marginal revenue. So I've got that part. Now I need marginal cost. So I'm going to take the partial derivative of this with respect to Q. So this is 0 0.0012 Q. Okay. Now I just need to satisfy this condition here. So I'm going to set marginal revenue, which is 28 minus 0 0.0016 Q equals 0 0.0012 Q. Okay. So I get 28 equals 0 0.0028 Q. And I'm going to divide both sides by that 0 0.0028. And I get Q equals 10,000. Okay, so that is the quantity. This is the profit maximizing quantity that the firm should produce. If they produce any more than that, marginal cost will exceed marginal revenue. They will lose money on that, and they have not maximized. Okay, now since this is a monopoly, and an unregulated monopoly, the monopoly can pick their single price. And so if to pick the single price, I'm going to plug in 10,000 back into the demand. And I'm going to do that because... I want to know what's the most the consumers are willing to pay for 10,000 units. So all we're going to do is P equals 28 minus 0 0.0008 times 10,000. Okay. And I get. I get 28, okay, minus 8,000, okay, and that's just 20. So the profit maximizing price is 20. Profit max, whoops, profit maximizing quantity uh, is 10,000 units, okay? So that is the answer to this problem. And if you want to check your work on this kind of thing, you can graph, just put into a graphing calculator, put in this function, this function, and this function. And you will see on the graph that where these two equal is 10,000. And then if you just put in, look for where 10,000 is and follow it to where it hits the demand curve, you'll get that price of 
20. Thank you.